Sergeant Smith. Thank you, Ken Corla. So, Fianna Fáil will be supporting the motion to move Larium to a drug of last resort. For many years now, there have been serious concerns regarding the use of the anti-malaria drug by the, mem by the members of our Defence Forces serving overseas in Africa and other areas rife with malaria. Side effects like larium have, have, uh, include anxiety, depression, paranoia and suicidal behaviour, indicating that the drug can seriously increase the risk of mental health problems for its users. We in Fianna Fáil believe that the use of the drug has caused and continues to cause severe and irreparable mental health damage for the brave members of our Defence Forces. Both current and retired members of the Defence Forces have expressed to us their grave concern regarding the drug itself. In fact, some, some 69 claims have been made from current and former members of the Defence Forces who allege injury as a consequence of using the drug. In 2015, the British Ministry of Defence admitted that a thousand former servicemen and women who have been prescribed larium are currently suffering severe psychiatric and mental health problems. Not only that, in 2013, the RTE Primetime Investigates found that among Defence Forces personnel who were prescribed the drug, there were three to five times increased chance of suicide. Larium manufacturer took this drug off the commercial market in Ireland last July. However, it still remains available in certain jurisdictions, namely the Defence Forces. The Defence Forces continue to use Larium despite the statement of its chairman of uh, Roach, the company and manuf that manufactures Larium, asserting the drug's use against malaria as no longer necessary. Dr Franz Humer is on record saying that the science has advanced significantly since larium was first introduced. He says that now there are more effective anti-malaria drugs available with reduced side effects. Also there are currently two anti-malaria drugs beside larium in use in the Irish Defence Forces. The decision on which medication to provide soldiers is made by medical officers. Surely the Defence Forces should be shifting its use from larium to other anti-malaria drugs. The Permanent Defence Forces Other Ranks Representatives Association argues that Ireland is not following UN guidelines The state that alternative drugs should be provided for personnel with a sensitivity to larium. A former member of the Defence Forces, Anthony Moore, who is a member of the Action Larium Group, said regarding the side effects, we have been informed most of the lads would not have taken it if we had known what the drug could do. Servicemen and women in our Defence Force deserve better on this account. They have put their lives on hold and risked their lives and sa safety for the security of our country. The Government has done little to express its gratitude for their unbelievable sacrifice. In my own constituency of Cavan Monaghan, uh, where we did have a local barracks, Duna Neal, which unfortunately closed some years ago, and Defence Forces there, and as my, my colleague Deputy Brendan Smith alluded to, we have two and three generations of the Defence Forces uh, working tirelessly in the county, but unfortunately have now got to commute to stations in Dundalk and Athlone. And of course, their, their, their accounts of what they have to do in their working day uh, certainly wouldn't bode well. These people are an integral part of the protection of our community and it's a sad, sad state of affairs when we hear of the accounts of some of those working in the Defence Forces. The Government must reconsider the use of larium with members of our Defence Forces as it's causing severe damage. Moving larium to a drug of last resort will mean that it can only be prescribed when the individual has no other alternative. Based on US and Australian experience with this approach, fewer than 1% of people may be considered for larium. In other words, larium won't be used any more by the Defence Forces, which means no more soldiers' careers and lives will be ruined by the adverse side effects. The Government must address the needs of our servicemen, like those who are in need of an effective, safe, yet, anti and yet safe anti-malaria drug. If nothing is done, then the Government is saying a clear indication that the problems of the service men and women who sacrifice everything for the protection of the state are but inconsequential to some elected officials in our Government. Thank you, Ken Corley.
Now, uh, Deputy Brendan Ryan.